Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to our service of evening prayer tonight, Monday of Holy Week, the 6th of April. It's been a lovely day, only the tiniest little April shower, and I think we're blessed indeed to see such a beautiful spring at this time of lockdown. And it certainly lifts our spirits as we marvel at the wonder of God's creation. Again, our grateful thanks to Canon Robert Bull and Reverend Prebendary Chris Thorpe and the team at St Andrew's Church Shifnal for allowing us to adapt, use and distribute these Holy Week materials. Let us be still as we come before God. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. And do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. Our reading today is following Gad, the thought, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? The reading is taken from John, uh, chapter 1, verses 43 to 46. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. And Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. And so our reflection. The call of the first disciples is described differently in John's Gospel. There's no lakeside scene, no reference to fishermen plying their trade as described by the other evangelists. Instead, the fourth Gospel places events of, uh, the events of their call in Bethany near the Jordan, where John the Baptist was baptising. Now, the scene suggests a time of heightened expectation of expectant hope, waiting on God's kingdom. John the Baptist testifies to Jesus being the Lamb of God and God's chosen one. Two of his followers then go off in search of Jesus to discover this for themselves. And having spent time in his company, Andrew is quick to fetch his brother Simon who Jesus renames Kephas or Petros, Peter the Rock. Jesus, meanwhile, is setting out for Galilee when he calls Philip to join them. And Philip, in turn, goes off in search of Nathanael, expressing the belief they had found the Messiah, the one whom scripture claimed would bring in God's kingdom of righteousness, peace and justice. There were many different interpretations about the nature of the Messiah. 
but that he should emerge incognito from a small, obscure town like Nazareth seemed implausible to Nathaniel, to which Philip retorts, come and see. What comes over in this particular description of the disciples' call in the fourth gospel is a certain energy, a proactive and not simply reactive response by the first disciples. An expectant hope of God's kingdom breaking in at that present moment. And so for us to think about. This present moment is offering us a fresh opportunity to come and see what God's kingdom of righteousness, peace and justice might look like. How might we become more proactive in our understanding of discipleship? Spend some time thinking about what energised Andrew, Peter, Philip and Nathaniel as we continue this journey to Easter and beyond. Prayer of St Benedict. Gracious God, give us the wisdom to perceive you, intellect to understand you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and life to proclaim you. Through the power of the Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Let us pray. Lord of life, we are pilgrims on a journey. You call us to look beyond the cross to your risen life. This holy week, open our ears to hear what you are saying to us in the world around us and through the contacts we make. Open our eyes to see the needs of others close by and in distant places. Open our hands to acts of service, to help when help is needed. Open our lips to tell others the good news of your risen glory. Open our minds to discover your truth in the world. Open our hearts to love you as you have loved us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you humbled yourself in taking the form of a servant and in obedience died on the cross for our salvation. Give us the mind to follow you and to proclaim you as Lord and King, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And tonight we pray especially for all who are volunteering in our communities to bring reassurance, shopping and medicines to those who are in isolation, building your kingdom through their kindness. Bless them and keep them safe as they work. Lord, as we follow you, hear our prayer. For the police handling diff difficult situations, persuading people to stay at home and not congregate in groups in public places. 
for continuing to fight crime and keep us safe in our homes and communities. And we think of those police in countries throughout the world tasked with enforcing lockdowns. Lord, we ask for you to protect them from aggression and infection. Lord, as we follow you, hear our prayer. We thank you for your provision for us. We think of the farm shops supporting local farmers and supplying us with fresh produce and small corner shopkeepers staying open for our convenience. Keep them safe from those who would take advantage of them. Lord, as we follow you, hear our prayer. May we be aware of those businesses who are closed or struggling at the moment and be ready to offer support in any way we can. Please take away their fears for the future. May they trust in you. Lord, as we follow you, hear our prayer. Help us always to keep the sick, lonely, frightened and marginalised in our hearts. Help us to respond to the promptings of the Spirit to proactively seek justice and peace for those whose voices are often ignored. In a moment of silence, we bring before you those particularly on our hearts tonight. Lord, as we follow you, hear our prayer. We lift to you all those who have recently died through coronavirus, through other illnesses and conditions, through accidents, through natural causes. Gather them to yourself in your kingdom of glory. Hold all those who mourn in your loving hands. May they know your comfort and peace. Lord, as we follow you, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for the insights of your word, for the paths you lay before us. We give you grateful thanks and praise for always bringing good out of every place, every situation, every difficulty, every sorrow. We give our lives to you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Abba, our Father, beloved, our God, creator of all, your name be held holy, your blessing be upon us, your wisdom be our guide, your way be our path. Your will be done well, at all times, in all places, on earth as in heaven. Give us the bread we need for today, the manner of your promise, the taste of your tomorrow. As we release those indebted to us, so forgive us our debts, our trespass on others. Fill us with courage in time of our testing. Spare us from trials too severe to endure. Free us from the grip of the powers that bind, for yours is the goodness in which evil dissolves. Yours is the joy that sounds through the pain. Yours is the life which swallows up death. Yours is the glory, the transfiguring light, the victory of love, for time and eternity, for age after age. So be it. Amen. And our pilgrimage prayer. Loving God, draw us on our journey to the places of holiness, the places of peace, the places of fellowship, the places of encounter places of beauty, the places where faith has been lived, your love made known, your hope held out, in the past, for the present, 
into your future. Amen. May the life-giving cross be the source of all our joy and peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you once again for joining me. I pray you will know the peace of God's rest tonight.